Is anybody talking about how notoriously cheap he is? <laughs> yeah. I've only heard the stories. When he goes in for voiceovers and he like empties all the mints into his fucking pockets. I think he's the only guest that takes all the sodas, you know, from the dressing room when the show. I'm gonna take these with me. I imagine he wears cargo pants a lot. <laughs> One of the cheapest people in the world. Uh, so Gilbert's going to kind of cut corners wherever he can. When you live in a $3 million co-op in New York City like Gilbert does, yeah, it's weird to sell your DVDs after your shows, especially when no one has a fucking DVD player anymore. You can't do that to yourself. You can't. That's how you end up getting shorter and shit. You just keep yourself all cramped up in the back of the bus. How the fuck does he ride a bus? There's not people on there going, is that Gilbert Godfrey? <laughs> hey, I want to use the... the the bathroom on the bus, I can't. Gilbert Godfrey's in there. Hey, buddy, how are you? What do you have there? When I break, go to hotels and get Here my go, brush. Here you go, sweetheart. Hey, do you have underarm? Huh? Underarm. I don't think we have any here. Oh, here. You know what? If, if not. If you're such a sweetheart, I'm giving this to oh, you. Oh, thank there you. There you go. See? years in the business <laughs> you get a free one ounce under wait what, what, what is all this so gilbert um gilbert won't let me throw anything away he, he hoards everything t-shirts forget it he's got so many t-shirts look at all these and then wait with all the shirts I have under here and pants and then the endless, endless supply of soaps. Every bed has buckets of these soaps and shampoos. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> when you watch the, the documentary and they portrayed you as somebody who's not, uh, uh, maybe maybe you don't enjoy spending money no. as, quite as much as the next yeah. person. Yeah, we're called Jews. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little respect, asshole. <laughs> Did you feel like, uh, uh, oh, I don't like the way I was portrayed as much? Or did you go? It's about time people realized I like to I like to keep what's mine and yeah. take what's yours. Oh well, watching that, watching the documentary, to me, it's like you know that first time you hear yourself recorded <laughs> or you see yourself and you go, "Oh God, that's yeah. not me." Yeah, and that that's like watching the documentary. Well, do you say you you still save all those like shampoos? And oh stuff? yes, do you use them. <laughs> yes, yeah, I use them. I love that he goes. And, he watches the documentary. And he goes, no, that's not me. And then he continues to do everything he did in the exactly. documentary. Like, exactly. He doesn't stop a thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't stop it, but I just go. Have you ever been caught stealing anything embarrassing from Yes, he year? has. At Artie Lang's show. <laughs> what, what happened? I forget what they call you taking. It was like a coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> when Nick DiPaolo and Artie had the show uh -huh. on DirecTV. Right. From the green room. They were like, yeah, Gilbert was here. He took the coffee maker. They had to make him, like, they caught him. Did you steal? Nick DiPaolo and Artie Lang's coffee maker? It was something not, from the back. Not the coffee maker. Yeah. Was it all the coffees? Stole some coffees from yeah. him. Whatever it was, it was they, they, they caught him and they he had, him. Yeah, it was a problem. The coffee, if I could slip it under my jacket, I would have taken the coffee <laughs> maker. By the way, that's what they paid with. That yeah. Was coffee. <laughs> that was a fun gig. You did that show a bunch. Yeah. I loved that. A giant studio with two so hot girls. So nice, man. And what I remember at that show, besides Bichetti being the announcer, was all these pretzels. Yes. They had those, you know those fucking flat? It looks like a pretzel has been sliced with yeah. a deli slicer. Yeah. They're the best. They, they were great. Right. You miss doing the Artie and Nick show for the pretzels. Yes, I do. I see. I see. That's yes, pretty I good do. insight. <laughs> I do. I love the pretzels. That I'd really says a lot about the legacy of a show. It was just so much fun. You'd sit there. And I hope one day people go, oh, I miss doing Jim and Sam because the intern used to bring us coffee. That's people true. Go, <laughs> yeah, they, they had a box of tissues on the desk. Yeah. Yeah, we really missed the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nobody was looking. You go home with the whole box. No problem. They had a water fountain at the end of the hallway. <laughs> I really missed their show. The toilet had those little square papers like <laughs> high school. <Yes. laughs> little square toilet papers. So do you do you strategize your meals, meaning when you go to a show, do you go like, okay, no, I'm not going to eat before the show. Absolutely. Because they're going to give me a free meal. Absolutely. And I'm going to eat more than I actually want and, so and, that I'm not hungry after. And you know what I hate, too, is if I get two offers for a free meal in one day, then I feel like, oh, one rules out the other. 
I see. Like, yeah, it's because too you want to you want to you want to yeah. eat enough for the first yes. free meal that it's going to last you all day. Exactly. And I'd rather have the second meal tomorrow so yes. that way I eat for yes. free tomorrow too. Yes. That makes sense to me. You also yeah. have to factor in him missing an opportunity for a yet another free meal is going to burn him up all fucking day Absolutely. and night. Absolutely. It right? will. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It gets you upset. Is your yes. wife like this too? Yeah, uh, no, no, no. She's, uh, she'll eat this. <laughs> she want to pay for a meal. Right, you don't me. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you guys want to those? <laughs> what? She's one of those? That yeah, she's one food? of those. Yeah. Do you guys <laughs> argue about it or no? One of those that puts your hand in your pocket and takes out a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> One of those people. So is it frustrating if you're out like you? She wants to go out and eat, and you're like, I want to just stay here. I, oh, sure. And then it's yeah, it's 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 kind of like I guess it yeah, it's the way of describing the Gentiles. <laughs> oh, he's one of those people who pays for his meal. If you're going on uh, Shiksa, are you a big tipper? <laughs> Uh, oh God! I, I don't know. I never know what to do. That's like a scary thing. Do you tip drivers? Uh, oh, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> you know what that means? No, no. Yeah. But I don't want to say that on the radio. <laughs> right. When uh, let's say uh, you get like an Uber Eats or something like that. What Uber and Uber Eats do now is they'll come up after the thing gets delivered and and the whole transaction is over a thing will come up on your screen going i hope you enjoyed your whatever service drive or meal would you like to tip the driver what option would you take 2 4 6 or no thanks well if if it wasn't if my name is attached to it, it is. then you <laughs> feel more pressure i see <laughs> to I, to see. Tip. I see but <laughs> if it's anonymous Oh, anonymous! I, be no I go. fuck the guy over in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to though. Everyone knows you. Yeah. What's the biggest tip you've ever given someone? Oh, I don't know. Mm. If I if I left that, you big ever put you ever put down a five spot? Uh, what five dollars? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you see him clutch his chest? What? What yeah. am I, Rockefeller? <laughs> <laughs> when you go on vacation with your family. Will you pay for first class airfare? I mean, you've been in show business for so long. You have. Been. Would you pay for first class airfare in a in a five star hotel? Uh, n I not a, a first class. A couple of times we've I've used maybe miles. Miles, together. sure. But the, you know the funny thing is, I remember in the old days yeah. of airlines, I would get on. I'd have a coach ticket, and back then, oh yeah, you know if they you recognize you. Yeah, if they recognize you, they go, oh, here, let me see if there's something. And they would never do that. So, so would you just rise now? They can't. It's all on a computer. Yeah. So would you just go to the airport every time wearing a problem child T-shirt? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it won't help. It, yeah, they won't put you in first. She's right. boarding the plane. Parrot, come yeah. <laughs> And there were a couple of times I've done this mm -hmm. where I walk past the first class lounge. Mm -hmm. And then I'd act like place stupid and i just asked like i i want some information about the place right and and <laughs> then if they recognize me they go oh why don't you come but that forget it they don't do it anymore right <laughs> no now you could be a member of the first class club and they'll hold you out yeah yeah do you uh do you worry sometimes that when you're sitting in coach People will go, that's the big celebrity, Gilbert Godfrey. What's he doing in coach? Uh, oh, sure. Don't you want to maintain a certain image sure. of yourself? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not if I could save a dollar. Right. I mean, not unless yeah. it's free. Yeah. I see. I see. Do you, so you don't, you, do you and your wife eat separately? She'll go to a place where you have to pay and you'll maybe that's look like for something. That's like young men joke. Yeah. Me and my wife have a romantic dinner every week. She goes on Wednesday. I go on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> but will you? Will you? Will you at least allow her to uh, find yes, without yes. giving her a hard time? Yes. Or do you give her a hard time? I'll give her a hard time. You will. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we actually shared a cab ride home once. Gilbert. Now, every every single person right now is saying, "Okay, uh, I guess Steve paid for this." <laughs> You didn't split a cab. You shared a cab. We shared a yeah. cab. But here's the thing. Remember they used to give you five bucks for cab oh, fare? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I had – I don't think I went on that night. So you had the five bucks. But <laughs> I, I, I think you still asked me for 250 
And this was like the most awkward yeah. cab ride. Like him. <laughs> because Gilbert, you know, just sat there. Not even like... So, how's your act going? Where are you from? Nothing. Nothing. You know, I just sat there and I would try and ask you questions like, Hey, Gilbert, did you see that TV movie about the Beatles? And then you would say something. You know, you'd give me like a one-line thing. That was it. That was it. All right. You made him pay for the cab, even though you got yes. paid and he didn't get paid. Yes. <laughs> Classy. Do you know what I remember? This goes back to the September 11th. <laughs> okay, yes. After September 11th, for some reason, I, I don't know, I, I would stop by firehouses and say yeah. hi to yeah. the firemen. And um, I remember at one firehouse I visited, the firemen said, yeah, I, people have been sending us like stuff like socks. <laughs> I don't know. We don't need any socks, but they keep sending us socks. And I said, oh, I could use some socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did I know where that was going? <laughs> so I left with a big bag <laughs> of socks wow. because of September Seven, 11th. Yes. Well, <laughs> that's another positive from, from September 11th. Do you still have the socks? Yeah, <laughs> He's wearing them. <laughs> He's wearing them no, I sold them. Uh, <laughs> is my recollection correct? Were you wearing a waiter's jacket? Yeah. <laughs> so there's I, the added element I, of complete silliness. Oh, my God. It was... Why were you wearing a waiter's okay, jacket? A white tuxedo no, jacket? No, yes, a long white tuxedo yeah. jacket like, like that uh, dorky teenager would have as a graduation. <laughs> I got that jacket when 14th Street still had shitty places around where you could go into a store and buy anything and you didn't know and it was so cheap you just bought it and there was like it's like a prom tux yeah 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 and there was a tuxedo place going out of business Darrett's on, on 14th Street <laughs> And and there was this white tuxedo jacket, long white, like the length that Groucho Marx would wear. And one of those bits were practically to my ankles, a white, bright white tuxedo. And uh, I think I got it for like five dollars. Wow. <laughs> so I wore that, and I had a t. Uh, I I had a, a a bow tie that I bought in another store for about twenty five cents. <laughs> And Just I for the put, roast? <laughs> I, I had already had this in my closet, and I thought, oh, I'm doing a roast. This this will be <laughs> I've, got, I've got the perfect outfit. <laughs> so, so the Twin Towers collapsed, and you went right down to the neighborhood for some uh, going out of business sales. God. I, th I wanted to honor the death of 3,000 people oh, with a $5 tuxedo. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> it was all I had had that shit lying around my apartment, thinking I'll never use this. And then when, <laughs> when you the wear blade, a red tie, I I think it was a black tie. I'm not sure. It's a black. I'll was, have to look. It's a, I'm sorry, I know this, but yeah. it was a black tie oh, okay. and a white tuxedo jacket. <laughs> and then when the plane crashed into the World Trade Center, I thought, oh, I can uh, put on that jacket now. <laughs> <laughs> 